Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, this is a video on the enclosed trailer that I purchased. Uh, it's kind of a start to uh, finish of somewhat of the outside. I do have one more window to add, but this will show what the trailer started out as and where it's got to the present day. Now I have pulled the trailer, it's pulling great. Got the floor in it, we pulled it to a couple of vents. And the next series of videos will be from the floor, what we've done to the floor all the way through to what we're gonna to do to convert this thing to a CTC. So anyway, let's get right to the video. Thanks for watching. Well, here it is. This, this trailer was on my uncle's property. He owned it for many years and actually the trailer got away, it was scotched and got away and run into the back of a flatbed and caved the front end in. So it took me a while to get him to sell it to me, but I got it for a reasonable price and this is what it looked like when we started. Um, this has been over a year in the making. Now, as you can see, it's got some holes and different stuff. So I started with the front end. The front end had all the bent bars and they had tried to force them out. So I ended up cutting them out and straightening everything and heating it and welding in one by one square tubing at 14 gauge. Uh, here's a picture of the, one of the new bars going in after I straightened it. And then I end up adding three of the six in the front. Here's the 32 inch door I took out. As you can see, some of the siding had holes in it. Now, I was planning on using the siding, but I actually got a deal on some factory seconds, so I'm resheeting it in um, that metal. And I also picked these fenders up, new rims and tires, and picked up some windows. Uh, here's the back before I started. Uh, ripped the metal off, and then as you can see, it was a little rust, so I ended up cutting everything and wire brushing it, and then sealing it, priming it, sealing it, and painting it. Uh, I added VHB tape, everybody had talked about it, and it helped me hold the metal in place, but I also added stainless screws to hold it on. And here is kind of the finished product before I add the aluminum and the rubber stops. This is the passenger side that actually has the window frame in it, but I actually started here and as you can see, went through all the metal, cut it out, and I used uh, windows that come out of a horse trailer. They were actually new, but they, they're the emergency exit windows, but they worked out real nice. They're also vented, you know, and screened. There's the window in place. Uh, then here's a picture of the window in and completely sealed up and the siding put on the trailer. Now, the next step that I done was when I moved to the driver's side, there was a lot of rot on that side where it sat in the field and the aluminum was right up against the metal. So it deteriorated the face of it and it was weak in the weld joints where it wasn't primo good from factory. This is a 1991 Crescent. So it's been around for 40 years, you know, and it's set in the field most of its life. Uh, here I am rebuilding the sides. This is all one by two. A 14 gauge material. I got all my stuff from a local uh, fab shop. Got all my steel ordered. Rebuilt the almost the whole driver side, most of the passenger side, and the floor. Um, this is after primed, painted, and ready to go. Now, uh, this is where I started on the top. I decided to use the metal on top because it was good. There was no holes. I had one piece I had to replace. But I end up just cleaning it up. Etcherbonding all the grooves, replacing the bolts. I took the fiberglass cover off and I chose to use bed liner. This worked very well. This is a duper color bed liner. And I end up putting probably four coats on it. And this has been well over a year and this trailer sets outside and I have no leaks. I am a very big believer in the Etcherbon tape. It's worked for me and so has the bed liner. And it gave it a nice matte finish on top that got rid of all the white. Uh, this is a step. This is the front. As you can see, there's one seam down the front and then I VHB taped the rest of the metal on to give it that nice round look. This material here for my rock guard is a eighth inch four by eight tread plate aluminum. Uh, it's attached by stainless screws and VHB tape to hold its form so there's no buckle on the front. Here's both pieces added. Um, 
made the trailer really look good. It's going to help me from pit putting holes in it because I did buy this thing as a toy hauler rut wagon type deal. So I'll be finishing aside for CTC. Uh, this is, I got this in vintage trailers through Amazon. This is all my rub rail and my heavy duty vinyl. That's a little stainless latch. I bought to hold my door open off Amazon. I replaced all the lighting LEDs. Uh, here is the molding going on. That's what it, the transition looked like after I put it on. Um, there's a rubber insert goes in, as you'll see in the next frame. My wife, Kim, my beautiful wife, Kim, is helping me uh, put all the uh, rubber rail in. And this is a cheap little add-on that I love. It's a sun, uh, sun visor through Amazon. It wasn't like $25, and it really is going to help with water. I mean, I did putty everything, but it helped. Here's the floor out, completely cleaned up. And then this is the new flooring that I put down. It's all painted on one side. And then everything was trimmed to fit from the old pieces. And, of course, this is some of my stickers and decals and different things we've added to it. So this is a finished product. The outside is done other than adding one window. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and like, and we'll see you on the next video. God bless.